Good morning from BFT Melbourne. I am about to show you how to do a auto setup on any Merrick digital screen board for sliding gate motors, regardless of the size of the motor. But the one that we're gonna be using today is our Aries uh, 500 kilo high speed slider, uh, which is called the Aries Veloce 22 meters per minute gate. So currently in our Melbourne showroom, you can see our little showroom um, gate there. And the first thing that we wanna identify just prior to going into our simplified setup on the gate motor is the opening side of the gate. So what you traditionally do in the industry is that you'll stand in the middle of the driveway and you can see our kitchenette there in the background. So you stand inside the property in the middle of the driveway, looking out towards the street and our gate motor on this example is on our left hand side. So when it comes to setting up, we must select LH, left hand setup. Obviously, if it was on our right hand side on the opposite side there, it would be RH. So let's go to the gate motor. So I've just defaulted it because we've had it in our showroom and we've been playing around with it. So we're going to start from scratch. So once you've bolted the motor down and you've installed your rack onto the gate, and then you've also installed your um, two steel or metal paddles that will trigger this uh, limit switch where it stops and starts. You're now ready then to do your auto setup mode or your simplified menu to get the motor to calibrate how far it needs to run open and close and so forth. So what you do is you press the OK button once, which is this third button down. The top two, are your plus and minus to scroll through the menus to change your settings. So what we do is you just hit the OK button once and the word language will come up and it should be factory set to Italian. So what we need to do is, is um, scroll down by hitting the middle button till you see the word English come up. There it is there. And what we do next is go OK to let the unit know that we're happy for it to translate to us in English. The motor will come factory set um, RH, right hand. So let's scroll back down again to LH, left hand, and hit OK. Now the preset, when you do get it out of the box, it will automatically be set to, I'll change it now to AR, automatic residential. You don't want it there, because that means that it will automatically close after about 10 seconds, which you can adjust, but I'll go into that in a bit more detail another time. So automatic residential, what we want to do is hit the middle button once, change it to SR, semi-residential, which is click to open and click to close. The safest way to go, I think. Hit your OK button again to accept that change. Let, let all those settings program in. So don't touch anything else, it takes about five seconds. The final manoeuvre it's going to ask us to OK is, do you want to do an auto set? So we hit the OK button one more time. The unit will count down to three, two, one. And the first functionality of it is should be a close function, which it is. So the motor is currently calibrating. Three, two, one, and then we'll reopen. It is calibrating the speed, the distances, the torques it needs to run at, where it needs to slow down and all that sort of stuff. So while it's doing that, uh, apologies about the little clicking noises that you're hearing there in the background and and a little bit of jumping around it is our display gate and currently at the moment we're redoing our uh, carpet and so we've got it just sitting up on some blocks just so we can do this quick video for you guys so there it goes there you might have heard that starting to speed up now that it's opened and closed a few times ramping up and ramping down unfortunately it is only a short gate so we're not going to see its full potential of its speed but trust me it is there so once it's happy with that uh, it's going to do it one more time, so this should be the final manoeuvre, open and close. It will come up with the word OK. And we'll see that pop up on the screen extremely shortly. So here, this should be the last one. While it's doing its calibration, it's important that we don't disrupt the motor, turning the power off or touching any other buttons and all that sort of stuff. So it's happy with that, it's saying OK. So once I hit the OK button, the final thing it will ask us is if we want to tune in extra remote controls. If there's no other remote controls to tune in, we can disregard this bit and just hit the OK button again and it comes up with the word end. SLC will be on the screen, which means the sliding limit is closed, which it is. It's shut. Now if I go to my remote control, 
and just open the gate. You'll see it'll give us a torque reading. It's uh, very low at the moment because it is only a display gate. And it'll go to SLO, which means the sliding limit is open, which it is as well. Thank you for watching and hopefully this will help you out on site.